How much does the average 50-year-old have saved for retirement? Is it enough? Are they going to be able to fund their retirement lifestyle on their current path? Sit tight. We'll get into it. Hi, I'm Antonio Sabella with Vision Wealth Management. Thanks for stopping by. Our latest video, what does the average 50-year-old have put away for retirement? And will it be enough when they get there? Uh, spoiler alert, if you want to click the video off now, they don't have enough. They're not doing it. Uh, I'll break down the numbers and then we'll talk about some things that can change if you're that 50 year old who's watching the video, uh, maybe to get yourself back on track. So lots of math in the episode today. Uh, here we go. Who is the average 50 year old in the United States? Uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics says that uh, age 45 to 54, so let's get in the middle there and say we'll call it the average 50 year old, makes right around $60,000 per year. It's 59 and change. Uh, that's actually pretty flat, whether in your 40s, 50s, or 60s, uh, that's, that's just pretty close uh, to the income levels around $60,000 a year. So let's say that you make $60,000 a year, you're 50 years old. How much money do you have put away? The average 50 year old, again, Per uh, another source, this is the Transamerica uh, Retirement Study. They put out a study every year about uh, Americans and their retirement savings habits. They've been doing it for 20 plus years. Uh, and they say that the average 50 year old or 50 something has uh, $107,000 put away for retirement. Uh, that's way behind. Even if you're making $60,000 a year by 50, hopefully you should have way more than $107,000 put away. Uh, the fact of the matter is a large portion of the population, uh, last I checked around 40%, has zero retirement savings. So obviously that's skewing the numbers down. Hopefully you're north of 107. Uh, if you're uh, listening to this video and you're in your 50s, if you're not, you've still got time to catch up. Uh, but let's just map this out for uh, Joe Average who's 60 year, uh, 50 years old, he makes 60,000 a year, he's got $107,000 in retirement. Let's say he says, I'm gonna get really serious about putting money away. Um, you know from my other videos, I always say the gold standard is get 15% of your income away towards retirement every year. If you do that for a long enough period of time, by the time you get to retirement, generally speaking, you should be in pretty good shape. So let's say he says, hey, I'm putting away 15% from this day forward, I'm gonna try and right the ship here. If he's making 60,000 a year, he puts away 15%, it's $9,000 a year in savings. If he's 50, and let's say he wants to retire at 66, he's got 16 years that he can continue to do this. So let's assume that he puts away $9,000 a year for the next 16 years on top of his 107 that he's got today, and he gets a 7.5% average annual return. He's gonna end the race, he's gonna get to 66, and he's gonna have $602,000 put away, Sounds like a lot of money today. Think in terms of inflation. We're not gonna get into it for the video here, but 16 years from now, $600,000 will not be what it is today. Uh, but that's what he'll have with the math that we just outlined. So he gets to retirement, he's got $600,000. Um, another rule of retirement thumb, it's stretching a little bit uh, based on returns and interest rates over the uh, more recent years, but it was always thought that a 4% is a decent rule of thumb. Uh, Get a specific plan and a specific number for yourself. Don't make decisions off of this video, but for purposes of the video, let's assume that he's gonna take a 4% distribution rate. $600,000, 4% distribution rate, means he can draw $24,000 a year from his retirement account in that circumstance. Now, if he was used to making 60, and he's got 24 coming, and let's say he's got a social security check, uh, I looked this one up too, the average social security check, $1,536. That's in today's dollars. We can't know what it's gonna be 16 years from now. Suffice it to say, 24,000 uh, a year, 2,000 a month from the retirement account, 1,500 from Social Security is $3,500 a month. We haven't even talked about inflation. Uh, it's not enough. That's not gonna to equate to a similar wage as what he would have been earning uh, slightly before retirement or even a similar wage to what he's earning today without adjusting for inflation. Moral of the story, uh, Americans are way behind on their retirement savings. Uh, I didn't break that news. That's a thing that you probably already know. It's all over the place. Uh, but if you were ever wondering, uh, you know, what, what's the average 50 year old look like financially? We just did it. Uh, if you're feeling the pinch, get some more money put away. Uh, seek out a financial advisor to help put a plan in place for you. Uh, if you're feeling good, great. If you don't have a financial plan, it's still a good idea to get one in place and have somebody else to kind of help you navigate all of the stuff that's coming. Uh, thanks for being here. I hope you learned something. 
and I'll see you soon.